Hey guys, it's Sam, and welcome to another episode of what used to be called Vaping Down Under, but due to it being also the name of someone else's account, I've decided I'm going to change the name. Don't know what to just yet, but for the moment, Sam Lane's Vape Channel, I guess. So today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to do vert splits and two-hand vert splits. The reason I'm going to be teaching you both the regular vert split and the two-hand vert split is simply because the way I learnt it was I was originally trying to just do vert splits I'm sure like most people are and I couldn't get them and then one day I was just messing around and I tried using two hands and it kind of just worked. So I practiced it a little bit and I discovered after a little bit of time that really the two hand vert split might be one of the easiest splits that you can do. It's certainly the easiest one that I've learned so far. For the two hand vert split and the vert split, the first thing you need to know is that your O's have to be pretty solid. And when I say pretty solid, I mean you need to be able to shoot them at least a meter and a half, maybe two meters just straight without it like curving down or anything. Your own needs to be totally solid where it's not like wavering or it doesn't look like it just hit a little bit of draft or anything like that. If your own hits a little draft or it's a little bit wobbly, it's not super solid, chances are it's gonna fall apart before you even get an opportunity for it to split and there's just no point. So please, if you haven't got your O technique down solid, go back to my first video, rewatch it, make sure there's nothing you've missed, and if you do have any questions, please let me know in the comments below what you're having trouble with so I can help you get to this point where you can do splits. First of all, two hand vert split. It's pretty simple when you want your O to be honestly roughly about the same size as your face frankly so not too small not too big and if you get it too small it's going to end up like this i know right it almost worked but it didn't quite kind of just wobbled too small that's unfortunately you need a certain amount of o for it to actually split off okay so about medium size o is going to be your best bet you want to get to it relatively quickly, so pop your O, follow it, and pop the split almost straight away. Like, it doesn't have to be super quick, but relatively quickly after you've caught and pushed it, come in, split it, get away with it. Because you want a certain amount of speed for your O's, two hands or not, it doesn't matter, you know. So once you've got your solid O, it's in front of you, you're pushing it. I would recommend pushing it with two hands for this because you're going to end up using two hands anyway and it's an easier way to generally get slightly bigger O's. And then I like to treat it as if uh, I come in with my hands kind of flat and then peel it back as, as if I'm opening a bag or something, you know. You just kind of come in to the top of the O, so you're pushing it, top of the O, just peel it back. And you don't actually have to push it too hard, pull it too far, you just kind of like, like that. And it'll kind of flatten out a little bit. And then once you've done that, just a quick, you know, it's not a big, like a ton of breathing in at the top of the O, you just kind of, and pull your head up, so like that, and Bob, and the pulling your head up helps to like snap the O back up so that, you know, you've flattened it out and then it goes back up to like vertical and then you bring your hands in to the bottom half of the, where the O is going to split and you push that to help it along, and then it should split top to bottom. And for the regular vert split, it's really quite similar to the two hand vert split. Once you've got the two hand down and you can get that split happening, you'll find it much easier that when you get to doing a regular split, It'll, it'll sort of make more sense, you know? So when you do get that, you know, you want that regular bird split, no hands, nothing. So you, you get your same, same size O, obviously, you want the speed, come in quickly, 
and instead of using your hands to sort of pull the oral part of uh, pull the oral stretch it and flatten it out a bit you're going to use your basically your head so when you suck in the o you sort of push it down a bit so it flattens a bit and then when you pull your head up again it should help so it like it's like a like with a ball or a bubble you squeeze it in and it bounces back right but with an o because you know it's like a vortex in the air or whatever you you when it comes back up it may not want to stay in that one spot if you pull it far enough it'll split so you come in and you just like squash it bring it up and same thing use your two hands once you've got that um, once it looks pretty close to splitting you just bring your two hands in and you don't necessarily like push from the sides you just kind of come in and push it like you would like a regular O and that's all there really is to it I mean you'll you'll know when you've got the vert split and I mean, first thing you're going to do is jelly it, right? That's what I did. But if you do get them, please hit me up on Instagram. Let me know. Show me your progress. If you like this video, hit me up with a comment. Hit that like button. Please subscribe to my channel. That'd be awesome. And if you want to check out my most recent review, it'll be up here. And my most recent tutorial will be over here. So have a good one, guys. Peace out. Sam Lane here.